か。Hello, my name is Justin Bartels. I'm principal trumpet of the Colorado Symphony Orchestra, and I'm here with Symphony Spotlight today to talk about my favorite instrument, the trumpet. It has a pipe called the lead pipe that goes this way, a tuning slide which lets me change the pitch slightly, and a bell. But how do I make a sound? I buzz with my lips, and then I use a mouthpiece. But that doesn't sound very good. So what happens when I put this mouthpiece inside the trumpet? To demonstrate the sound of the trumpet, I'm going to play another piece of music from Beethoven's opera Fidelio. Now that's the sound of the trumpet, but how do I change notes with the trumpet? You see these three buttons here? Well, they're not just buttons, they're actually called valves. When I take them out of the trumpet, you'll see that they look a little bit like Swiss cheese. Now what they do is when I play air through the lead pipe, the valves redirect the air through these slides, which makes the instrument longer and the sound goes lower. Now if I didn't have valves, this is how the instrument would sound. With valves, I can play all the notes in between. Now there's a lot of different things I can do on the trumpet. I can tongue and make sounds in succession by going ta 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 and it sounds like this. But if I play notes rapidly in succession it's called multiple tonguing and I would make a syllable like this ta ka ta ka ta. Now here's a demonstration of that kind of articulation by playing Rimsky-Korsakov's Scheherazade. Now you've heard a lot of really loud sounds coming out of the trumpet, but can the trumpet play soft? Yes, it can. I'm going to demonstrate the opening of Schumann's second symphony to give you an example of what it's like when the trumpet plays soft. Now we talked about the vowels before and playing all the notes in between. I'd like to give you a better example of that by playing a piece by Stravinsky called Petrushka. Now, when you think of Petrushka, think of a very mischievous puppet that gets into a lot of trouble.
I've given you an example of the trumpet playing really high with the very first piece I played. Now I'm going to use one of my other trumpets and demonstrate the lowest notes you can hear on the trumpet with my B flat trumpet. But I have a little treat for you today. I have a trumpet that is called a piccolo trumpet. It is half the size of the big trumpet. And it allows me to play notes that are twice as high. For my final piece today, I'm going to play a selection from J.S. Bach's Christmas Oratorio on my piccolo trumpet. Thank you for joining me for Symphony Spotlight. This has been The Trumpet.